You have two options when trying to edit GoPro videos inside of Final Cut Pro 7. You can either edit in the clips you want to use and render, or before starting your edit, you can use a free program like MPEG Stream Clip to change your clips to a more edit-friendly format. The fact is Final Cut Pro hates the way GoPro videos are made. GoPro videos, DSLR videos, all use what's called the H.264 codec. Final Cut Pro 7 hates that, so you have to change your videos into a more friendly format that Final Cut Pro 7 likes. If you want to change your videos before you start editing, you can use a free program like MPEG Stream Clip, load your video into MPEG Stream Clip, go to File, Export to QuickTime, change the compression to Apple ProRes 422LT, make sure your frame size is unscaled, and make sure that interlace scaling is unchecked, and then make movie. Once you make this movie, you would then drag all your clips into Final Cut Pro and edit with those clips rather than the original MP4 files. The other option is to render inside Final Cut Pro 7 as you're editing. So if you drag down one of your GoPro clips, hit yes to change sequence settings to match the clip settings, come up to sequence settings, change the compressor from H.264 to Apple ProRes 422LT. Go to the render control tab, change codec to Apple ProRes 422, and hit OK. You see you have two red bars above your video now. You have to go to sequence, render all, both, and those two red bars will disappear, allowing you to play and hear your clip. Every time you make an edit, or every time you add a new clip to the timeline, you're going to have to re-render. Like I said, Final Cut Pro 7 just does not handle the GoPro format well at all. There's just no easy way of editing GoPro inside of Final Cut Pro 7. If you have access to a different editing program, Final Cut Pro X or Premiere Pro, I would recommend using those programs over Final Cut Pro 7 to try and do any GoPro editing.